Good morning. I'm at Prior Cabin and not at the trailhead. So if you're wondering why I'm starting here, it's because I'm not a fan of uh, multi-series videos. So I'm going kind of pretending like I didn't just ride in yesterday and sleep under a harbor freight shelter. But gonna head out. Here's Prior Cabin. If you're curious about it, uh, watch the video from yesterday. I did try to fix their their roof a little bit where the bear had been getting in to get some feed. I usually try to pick up trash. There's just too much here. So a lot of trash around here, but I'm gonna head out. I'm headed back down Friar Creek a little bit to hit the trail that goes to Woodland Park. My shorter donkeys though are uh, pretty anxious to get home so I have a feeling we're gonna make good time headed back down. All of this smoke is from the ridge fire that's going on right now and there's Quite a bit of lightning, so I'm kind of curious if more fires didn't pop up last night. Looks pretty elky to me. I came in from this way. I always like to make a circle, some biggest loop possible, so I'm going a different way out. This is the Woodland Park mud hole. Usually has water, and it has a lot of water right now, but sometimes it's just a mud hole. Usually enough to water horses though. Looks good in here. It's green. West Fork, seven miles. Woodland Park, three quarters. Briar Creek, two and three quarters. Let's see what this one says. Lily Park, five and three quarter miles. And Hell's Hole is, does, can't tell. Sign's too messed up. I know I've said this before, but those signs are never right. Don't rely on them. The direction's right. <laughs> it's the uh, mileage. When you leave Woodland Park, all of the tops of these ridges are flat and they're just full of juniper. So you have Ponderosa kind of in the bottoms and some of the flats, but then a bunch of juniper flats too. So I guess if you know, you know. Fire time. Big Bear tank is right here, but it's washed down. It doesn't hold any water. So if somebody was getting super ambitious, you could go fix that little tank right there and it would be handy.
Let's pour three miles. DJ six. This is the trail that I came in on. I came in on the trail up here. And so really only backtracked about a quarter of a mile. It's a Story time. When I was 10 or 11, I don't think I was any older than that, we were packing in some supplies for a, a Boy Scout troop that was doing a backpacking trip and we we're just resupplying them. So we were over in Chick, I, if I remember correctly, we dropped them off in, or dropped their supplies off in Chicken Coop. And I remember going to, uh, seeing prior cabin, riding by it and stuff. But what I really remember about that trip was as we were, dro we were dropping off right here, you could see across there, there was a, it was almost getting dark, but you could see a storm coming and you could see lightning hitting all across over there. And pretty soon we were right in the middle of it. So I, as I, we were riding down this hill, this mountain, there was lightning hitting all around us. And so you know how you try to do the Mississippis? You couldn't even get one out, so you'd see the flash and it just bang. And all I had was uh, one of those cheap disposable ponchos, the trash bag ones. And riding through here, they just get torn up right away. And uh, it's like a 30 plus mile, or about a 30 mile trip for a 10 or 11 year old, it's a long ways. So by the end of, by this point, it was getting dark. I was scared from the lightning. I thought I was gonna die. It's pretty much over it at this point. But every time I come down this trail, I always remember that. Probably too much for a kid, but it is what it is. You can see the visitor center out there. So you think you're getting close, but no, you still got a couple of hours of riding to do. This trail, it goes up and it ties in with at the head of Big Bear, but I've never been on it. So I don't know what kind of shape it's in. It kind of crosses all of those, so I think it's easier just to go around over the top. When you're looking into accounts from the 1800s and on, they refer to the zigzag trail a lot. And that's the trail that I'm on right now. So it's just a good reference point. They always say I was going up or up by the zigzag trail or I was going up the zigzag trail. So I'll show you here. It's pretty self-explanatory on why it's called that, but I'll show you.
that section right back there it used to be worse but most were i should say a lot of people lead their horses up and down it probably not a bad idea because you could easily have a pretty good wreck in that spot what are you doing horse Double E! Here's where the grudgings are buried. If you're interested in that, I talk about it in another video on the West Fork. You should check that out. Entering Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument. I'm about to the truck and we all survived. It's a pretty good little loop. I highly recommend. The trails are in great shape. The grass is green up there. There's water where there should be and even where there's not a lot of times. So it's looking good up there. Whether you're walking it or you're riding, it should be good. Thanks for watching. Nobody's here.